so what I would like to do is I would like to go on the next board to understand these dictionaries, conditions, and results. First thing first, I would like to know conditions and results. And this is where people lose uh, interest in ice, right? Because for people, this is really hard. But believe me, it is not that hard. It is a simple concept because now you understand the complete policy structure of ICE, how these policies are built. Suppose I'm talking about the authorization policy, right? I'm saying if client is wired 802.1x from here to here, I am saying this is my condition. How I'm going to create this condition is totally different thing. It is really, really easy. But try to understand, I just want to create a policy that if somebody is wired at 802.1x, which I can definitely know using attribute value pair, then just assign VLAN 100 to it. If we meet this condition, the result is going to be this. So this is going to be my result. Easy. Similarly, I can, I can mix and match many thing in the condition i can say client should be wired 802.1x and it should be part of my sales group maybe when 802.1x authentication is passed i need to check whether rahul is part of sales or not if it is not then i am not matching this if condition if i am not matching this condition then assign villain 200 is not going to be there but but interestingly i am saying the client should be 802.1x and sales maybe rahul is part of sales and it is coming from the wired portion then basically i can say assign vlan number 200 to it so what is there inside if this is my condition and what is here this is exactly my result whenever i create policies i need to create conditions and i need to create results right I can create the condition and I can assign the results to it as simple as that. But here is the point where dictionaries are coming into picture in it, right? So dictionaries are nothing but attributes and value pairs. We inside these dictionaries, we have attribute and values. We have defined many dictionaries here. So as you can see, if you consider this is a complete sentence, the meaning, what is the meaning of a wired 802.1x? is defined right there in dictionary. Don't believe me? Let me talk to you about the dictionary in detail. Right? So what exactly the meaning of dictionary? Means if I if I may ask you, you must be saying that if I come across a difficult sentence, for example, I have deliberately choose a pretty difficult uh, uh, sentence in English, which is having so many words like imbued, like ineffable, even I, I can't pronounce them, right? So my English is really, really means it's kind of really okay, right? But yes, I do not know many words, meaning of very words in this, right? So what I would do is I would like to open my, uh, my dictionary to know the meaning of it, right? But this sentence is correct. This is all good, right? But if I want to know the meaning of imbued, I should open the Oxford dictionary or maybe any dictionary, maybe in the in the form of identity services engine you all know we write conditions there right and if we write conditions in conditions we write words like 802.1x that is fine if we have written this sentence sentence is fine anybody knows english is going to uh, going to read it maybe you don't understand the meaning but where exactly who has defined what is the meaning of imbued right who has defined what is the meaning of dot one x ICE has defined the meaning of dot one X. ICE has defined the meaning of dot one X is right. The meaning of dot one X or radius or whatever the message is that if service type is something and if NAS port type is something, service type is maybe frame, NAS port type is something called Ethernet, then I'm absolutely sure the meaning is dot one X. I am calling, see, it is giving you in the form of. 802.1x or the wired client or the wireless client but actually how we have defined how identity services has defined the meaning of wired after analyzing a lot of attribute value pairs it has created many many dictionaries so it means that dictionary words or the dictionaries you are going to use in your conditions in your sentence right 
whatever the words written in the dictionary are maybe used uh, are definitely used in some sentences right it means that ice has defined a lot of dictionaries right and those dictionaries we are going to use to create our conditions for example a22.1x this is kind of a dictionary value right interesting although this is a condition but the meaning is defined in ice dictionaries where i will be definitely showcasing you so the example here is not that accurate that is why i'm not going there but what i would like to do is i would like to open now the policies demonstration right so be with me for the next 10 or 15 minutes and you are going to see whatever we have just learned right there on the ice ui having said that let me open okay so uh, can anybody please confirm you can see my identity services engine dashboard anyone can please confirm yes you can uh, we can see perfect let's go so if you go into the policies and if you open this policy set we will be seeing this thing right so if you open your eyes absolutely fresh you are going to see only this policy set which is known as the default policy set right and you must be thinking mr vishnu then why there are more than one policy set because you can have more than one policy set because one policy set you can create only for your wired client one you can configure only for your wireless one policy set absolutely for your byod uh, one is for your guest and so on right but this is going to be really really important to understand that inside a particular policy set you are going to see authentication policies and authorization policy that's that is absolutely sure and you must be thinking but mr vishnu we don't see if you say this is my policy set one this is my policy set uh, the, the upper one is policy set two where are the authentication authorization policies in it believe me if you click on this arrow you will be seeing them don't worry about it we'll be talking about it but here we need to understand first thing first what is the meaning of this so i have created this policy set this one maybe this is policy set number one this is my default policy set so i am just giving it a name this is just the name and description but here is the interesting thing this is the condition wired a22.1x and if i open it if i open it right and if i edit it see whatever you are seeing right here these are your dictionaries and inside this dictionary these are your values right so if i show you uh, something like suppose if i show you radius inside radius message if i say nas port type right and then if i choose the value it is going to showcase me ethernet mr vikram for you and it is going to show me all these values right and here is something called wireless so if i select this if i select this what exactly this thing is this is my dictionary and my conditions are made up from the dictionaries and inside these dictionaries we have values so if nest port type equal to and who has defined all these things see the amount of work cisco has done here right they have defined all the dictionaries just like the oxford dictionary right and there are other things also for example if you want to match maybe anything else right for example if i showcase you uh, we have here interesting just wait a minute uh, let me Vishnu, could you show a uh, ready i mean service type here service type okay just wait a minute yeah if i say radius mm -hmm and you just need to check okay f n and here you get yes. the service type mm -hmm. okay let's see the values here yeah that you were asking so here the value is administrative authenticative call check so many values are here and maybe one value framed is here right maybe hp mm -hmm. user hp operation user we need to check what is the meaning of it but there are so many values you can give here okay mm -hmm so i am just closing it for now because i would like to show okay i am cancelling it because i would like to just showcase you uh, okay cancel and maybe i do not want to use it 
perfect okay so here if the condition is wired a22.1x i will be showcasing you just remember this right then i want like to do etls with the whatever the access request is coming the radius access request is coming i want to do etls with it that is it and this is my policy set and now i would like to go inside it so by the way if i talk about it this is my condition and this is my result so by the way i have created multiple result if i would like to do with the if i'd like to do ep i would have selected this if i would like to do eptls i would have selected this right but from where all these things are coming as i mentioned these are my results so i have explained these results right here if i go to the results and if i go and open authentication allowed protocol so this is the system default and if i open eptls here so this is what i have defined so suppose you want to do only ms chap version 2 you just need to select it and name it at ms chap 2 right so that you can select it in your any policy but here i have selected only eptls right so as i mentioned we have pages of all these allowed protocols right but i have decided that for all my organizations users i need to do only eep uh, peep method right or eps method that is where i need to select it from here as simple as that right so i am just going again back to my policy sets and i think you have understood about this policy set and now i am clicking on this arrow right here and here you go what do we have here guys we have here authentication policies and we have authorization policies just forget about these two things once you get the policies these are going to be really easy for you okay so what i'm going to do is i will be opening authentication policies here and here i have created this policy that and the policy name is the 802.1x clients and basically the condition is wired 802.1x means if the access request comes with whatever the st values or whatever that you would value you all know then check it inside bridge yid what is bridge yid my active directory so ice is integrated with active directory once the user is going to send its certificate or the username or password then i'm going to check it against the bridge via ad right and if i find it then my authentication is going to be successful as simple as that right once authentication is successful i will be moving towards authorization policy right what authorization i would like to give so if i open this just wait a minute guys i do not want to buy okay so if i open authorization policies let me if i go a little bit down see what policies i have created so this is the grid uh, let me enable them so that i can explain you better so let me save it so what i have decided here is in my authorization policies so first policy is for my uh, sales users how i have defined it in the conditions and i will i will be showcasing you from where i have decided right see right now if i have my identity group i can create an identity store here in this ice itself okay i can create the users and i can create the groups here right so what i have done is in my anjali is part of my sales group suppose right so i am saying that if identity group name equals user identity group sales the meaning is if anjali the request i have uh, i have authenticated anjali and anjali is part of the sales group then result is going to be sales vlan what is the meaning of sales vlan i will be talking about it don't worry about it right and if anybody is part of marketing group just assign the results at marketing right so this was my condition how i was able to make this condition i will be talking about it don't worry but how i am getting about this results means if somebody if anjali is part of the sales assign her sales vlan this is just the name but what exactly this result is i am going to showcase you right so for that where i would be going i would be going on the policies and the results and results is our there in the authorization right authorization profile so the results are same right so if i go here and open sales vlan i have defined this right here that if somebody got authenticated well right 
come here and assign him a VLAN VLAN of 200 and suppose the access request was coming from Anjali right and Anjali was checked against AD using previous authentication policies and Anjali is passed here and I'm sure Anjali is part of the sales group then what I'm going to give her I'm going to give her this result the result here is sales VLAN right and what exactly inside the sales VLAN let me show you I will go down here and I have said VLAN assign 200 VLAN to this guy right so the meaning is that if Anjali has passed the authentication she will be getting 200 VLAN it means that in access accept request what I will be sending is I will be sending attribute value pair 200 so that my port will be given VLAN number 200 as simple as that so again I would like to go back to my policies policy sets inside my policy set if i click on this arrow i will be seeing my authorization policy so i think you get the results now right but here is the thing from where i am deciding this identity group name and everything so what i've done is what i've done here is uh, i have created my local identity uh, here in my local identity stores if i go on identities and if i see my users right now i have defined these three users right abc anjali and local so anjali is part of my sales group and abc is part of my marketing group sales group will get a vlan of 200 marketing will get a vlan of maybe one and that is what i would like to showcase you the groups also so these are the local identity store this is not the ad right so if i showcase you here and in user identity groups i will be showcasing you the marketing inside the marketing i have abc if i again go back to the user identity groups you can see here the sales inside the sales we have anjali right and now i can select all these things in my conditions and it's going to be really really interesting and that is what i have done so if i go again and go to the conditions not the conditions or uh, maybe if i go and go to the policy set i would like to showcase you how i build this uh, build that conditions now for you if i open it if i open the authorization policy and if i open this condition just see here <laughs> it will be part of your see identity group name right so where it it had come everybody is there inside this dictionary so i must have chosen identity group you can choose internal user also means if you want to create a specific policy for a specific user you can do that but i am doing with the identity group inside the group i am doing with identity name and you can choose here that what is the name of your identity group so if you see here we have marketing as well as sales so i would have selected uh, the marketing for this guy right i am not going to use it so i am closing it okay perfect so this is what i had in my mind today although we i i need to explain you about the map but before finishing it i would like to showcase you that i have integrated the uh, active directory also so if i go here and uh, it is very very simple to integrate it uh, external identity source and uh, this is my bridge by ad this is my active directory right you can see here and that is where I got this name bridge by AD in my external identity stores, right? So to, to give it, believe me, you just need to add it and you just need to give the username, which is the, of the admin privileges in your Active Directory, username and password. And that is it. You can see your uh, Active Directory up and running. So whenever a request come, maybe Rahul or Anjali, it is going, I mean, if you have selected your uh, uh, identity store as external identity store which is basically your ad it is going to be uh, checked against this ad uh, as simple as that right so having said that uh, you can ask any question if you have in your mind i know that in english class there are pretty less questions but if you have any question in your mind please